Here's a hack I've been using for years to easily make melodies that sound good with little to no experience in music theory, melodies, whatever. As you guys know, I'm, I'm not classically trained. I figure out all, all this stuff on my own and I still am like, what the f is E minor? Uh, <laughs> and the way to do that is in three steps for a melody. You don't have to know how to play the piano. My goal is to make it so you can confidently make a melody that sounds good. You will, however, need these things. I think having a good ear is more important than knowing everything there is to know about music theory, personally, because you can figure, you can learn all that stuff, dude. So this is what I'm gonna do. I got it on 165 BPM, just random. And uh, I'm going to click in melodies at a rhythm and you're gonna be listening for the rhythm, like, and you're also gonna be listening for the notes. And what matters is that there's some sort of thing that repeats at this fifth bar here. I've been using this since the beginning. Like I've made some of my best melodies, bro, with little experience from using this tactic of just clicking and hearing. We're gonna be keeping it simple. So let's start with this. So we got bum bum bum. And the key is to really mess with that, the timing of the notes. Because if I do this, It sounds cool, but it's kind of, you know, that's the classic thing I, that I hear from all of you guys is the boring thing. So we're going to move this note over here. We're going to move this F to here. Boom, right here. This bottom note here is always going to be your root note. This is what's going to direct the melody. So let's, let's kind of pick our four chord notes here because it's still a pattern. You got to recognize the patterns. This is the same type of thing than if we just turn this into a chord. So it's all gonna make sense musically, but it's, this is just an easier hack. And you're gonna wanna have some sort of sound that kinda has a little bit of a tail to it. Kinda has a little bit of a release on it, if you wanna say that. So let's do this. Boom, boom, boom. You know what, I'll, if you guys don't have sounds, I'm gonna put together some of my favorite one shots just for this video and throw them in the link in the description for a free download. So if you don't have good sounds, you'll have some good sounds for free. If you hit Y, you can just kind of click and listen to the notes. So, And then what I'm gonna do is hold control. I'm gonna select these top notes and I'm gonna hold shift and just drag them over. We want the top line to be repeating in this. I think it's just gonna sound good. If you have too many things that are complicated, another big error I see, error number two. If there's too many aspects in a beat that are complicated, it's all just gonna sound like just nonsense. Some things have to be simple and then you can pick and choose where you get complicated and have that little ear candy. So let's see what this sounds like. That sounds fire. Okay. So let me show you what it would have sounded like if I, you know, kind of did not did something different with these notes. Well, I'll try different notes. It still will sound good, but it's just a little bit like... It, that can work. That can work. But if you keep going with that and then do three different ones and then three different ones, you need something to repeat. People want stuff that repeats. And then of course, if you do different timing on here, it's gonna sound even worse. It's just too much. That's where I see people going wrong. It's like, no, let's just keep it simple and we'll move on to the next thing. That's step one. That should be easy enough for even the most simplest beginner producer. And you might be thinking, hey, bro, Kyle, I don't know anything about this, dude. How do I do this? There will take some practice. You know what I mean? There will take some practice. I think a good activity is to just, is to just, let's, let's, let's play along. Let's find notes that match with this. That note works. That note sounds like it works. That note does not sound like it works, so I'm not gonna highlight that one. I would do this yourself and kind of click through notes and really develop that ear because that's what's the most important thing. No matter how many chord packs you download and all these different things, if you don't develop an ear of what sounds good, 
you might be missing out on cool things. Like you might know how to play C major, but if you can't figure out like, sometimes those off notes are what makes the best song. So yeah, I think developing an ear is really important. That's what I'm trying to accomplish here. The next thing I'm gonna do is, because there isn't really a strong bass line in here, I could select these and hold shift and bring it down, but this is, that's not part of my tricks. What I'm gonna do now, Authentic bass, but a big one. So I got a bass line now, and this is easy peasy. I've seen this a million times. I'm just gonna go on the root notes that we already made, these bottom notes. This is where the emotion comes from, is those root notes. I'm gonna hold control to select these, and I'm just gonna do control L. That's just gonna extend these to the length of our pattern here. And now, as you can see, it's like pretty low pitched. It's pretty dark, it's a little too dark. So I'm gonna do is hold control, press up. Okay, that sounds good. It's a little too basic. So let's try to bring one of these either to the left or to the right. Give it a little bounce. Yeah, that sounds good. I'll do the same here. You really have to watch that bar of like, I'm getting too complicated and I'm not getting complicated enough. It's a very thin line. So I'm literally gonna leave it at that. And now I'm gonna go back into Omnisphere or like another thing. And I'm just gonna like find some random like bell or something sound. That sounds pretty good. You know what? I'm actually gonna do this. I'm gonna pitch the melody down. I'm gonna hold shift and go shift, one, two, three, four. And do the same with the bass, make sure four. So now I'm gonna mess with this. I like to use, I like to use the keyboard to really feel it. I tend to make better counter melodies, is what we'll call this, on a keyboard. But you can also use these notes that you already made that made sense. So let's just make a counter melody. I think the counter melody would be better if it's a little longer, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hold, I'm gonna right click. Control B, I'm gonna go into here, right click, drag, Control B, and just extend this, and now I'm gonna make my counter melody. And instead of every bar, the melody repeating, the counter melody kind of has a little bit more flexibility. The counter melody is a little bit of the solo. It's kind of what the singer or rapper will be following. It's kind of what the, the person will be basing their hooks off of. It's a very important thing. So instead of this repeating every single bar, it's kind of going to have a similar feel every four bars or so for this one. So I'm going to record something. So say I'm going to start with this note. You can click this into and for little guidelines, I'm going to just hold, I'm going to go back into the original melody, control up, control up again. I'm going to go into this and have these as my little guideline notes. And I don't really wanna get in the way of other notes in here. This has to live on its own. That sounds good, and I'm just gonna press Control B. I'm gonna delete the second part. Sometimes at the end of your patterns, you wanna do something crazy, whether it's with the melodies, drums, whatever. From there you have a, an amazing melody and you can do whatever you want from here. You at least have something that makes sense. You can add these, you can add these other notes that we know work as chords. You can add other melodies in here and take this original melody and almost double it. What a great note. You can throw one of these melodies into a gross beat. You can also right click, render as audio clip, bring it here into the pattern. You can then throw it into free slicer, reverse it.
That's that melody, bring this one. This is with no effects, no experience, nothing. This is the way that I used when I didn't know anything. I would just go one note at a time and just listen for every note and make things that make sense. And most importantly, develop that goddamn ear because there's a lot of people that know everything about music theory that still can't make melodies, in my opinion, because this is where it's happening. I'm gonna throw together this one shot pack now of all the one shots I've ever created for free. Download it in the description and uh, see you later. Come on.